Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to do something a little bit fun. I'm feeling like in a good mood because it's sunny and we've kind of like semi got our lives back a little bit. So I'm in a really good mood this week after a nice weekend of actually seeing my friends. So I'm going to be testing viral TikTok makeup hacks. It sounds a bit crazy and I'm really not the biggest fan of these kind of hack videos. I'm going to try and test out ones that I actually think will work or are not weird and things that actually might be useful tips and tricks boys i'm just going to pick like four or five videos and yeah i'm going to test them and see if they actually work so that's why i'm coming at you with a fresh face today I said on this channel we like to keep it real i'm not afraid to sit in front of this camera with no makeup on anymore like i was when i first started i'm going to get on with it and i'm just gonna pick my first video and we're going to see if any of these hacks are actually worth wasting your time and your makeup on but let's get into it okay so the first hack i want to try is a really really popular one people moisturize their face then they put powder on then they spray their face with setting spray and then they put foundation over the top or something like that i've got quite dry skin so i'll be interested to see how this works on someone with dry skin because i think most of the people that have kind of done this hack that i've seen on tiktok like have got oily skin or they're oily prone so routine and try this instead Moisturize first. Get some translucent powder and I just lightly dab it all over my face and spray. It could be any setting spray. After the setting spray, take a primer and just put your primer. Also Moisturizer first, then powder, then setting spray, then primer, then foundation. Really not helpful for this. This just does not seem like it's going to work on my dry ass face. But I'm not one to shy away from a battle, so let's go moisturize first so i'm just using my cerave moisturizer this is my favorite one I've probably used a bit too much there i'm gonna be like actually like really shocked if this works and if it doesn't make me look cakey because like literally when you've got dry skin you tend to look cakey quite a lot and i reckon this is gonna make me look really cakey i've got my translucent powder so i'm just using the laura mercier one just like scared to put a lot on so i'm just gonna put on like a bit not loads but a bit so i'm just gonna like like fully putting some on just in case you think i'm not because i can tell that it doesn't actually look like i'm putting anything on already feels dry and i'm not gonna lie like this the reason why i don't really i don't tend to wear a lot of powder anyway but max my powder on and then the next step okay so setting spray next what i've got at the moment is my um decay all night ash which obviously is meant to like keep your makeup on so hopefully this is an all right one to use but we'll see primer next so i've got my two faced hangover primer here just moisturizing ones like i never really use pore filling ones i can't imagine what a pore filling primer would be like with this technique i just feel like the powder and the like the silicone base would like fully just like ball together and just come off like, i literally just can't imagine it working it does feel a little bit tight though i won't lie it's going with your foundation next so i'm just going to use my elf cc cream because this is just what i like to use at the moment i'm really into it proper like it so i'm just gonna put a big chunk of that on see if this looks any good so i'm just gonna blend this out with my brush actually think that looks quite smooth but i do think it's going a little bit patchy it's like kind of got glossed over my skin a bit like it's made it's sort of like covered my texture if anything it's gonna make me look like i've got more texture but i actually think that's gone on really nice i'm actually really shocked i've got any of the products on top yet so it'll be interesting to see but is it just me or like is there a bit of a patch there like, I could have just genuinely missed it with my foundation. Let's put a bit of foundation over top of it see if it covers it. It's a bit patchy there, and it's, like, not really covering it, which is a bit weird. Okay. Let me just, like, let me just get my bigger mirror so I can see. Like, do you know what? I'm actually very shocked. I actually think that has, that has gone on really nice. Then again, like, in certain places it just looks like it's clung a little bit like it looks like it's clung all the way around like the top of my lip here a little bit and i'm scared to like blend it away too much in case it like makes patches and then i feel like it's all clung here as well 
like where my skin's like quite dry in places where i'm not dry i think it looks really nice like on my cheek here and here and there and there i actually think that looks it looks quite nice but it's just like clung to dry patches really because if you're quite oily or you have like normal skin that's not really got many dry patches like mine has i think this would actually look really good is that a game changer i'm not i'm not sure you guys will have to let me know what you think because i can't tell the next hack that i want to try is one that's more this is more of a technique rather than a hack but i have actually been doing this myself quite a lot and i do really like it okay so basically what he's doing is he's putting his concealer down the bridge of his nose so he's doing almost like a reverse contour and then obviously a lift at the end i actually think it makes a complete difference to the shape of my face and I just feel like it makes my eyes lifted and I find it much easier to contour my nose when I've actually reverse contoured it with concealer. It's just my shot, it's my shot shape. My shot. It's my tart shape type concealer. I'm just gonna put like concealer here. I'm gonna bring it up and then like down the bridge of my nose here. that's what he's done anyway he's literally like plastered it all here and then obviously the most important part of which i think is here so i'm just gonna pull that there a lot of people do their concealer this way now anyway don't they but if you don't i'd definitely say try it especially doing it down the side of the nose because i really think this helps to do like a reverse nose contour if that's like something you want to do or you feel like you want to contour your nose I like to do it just because, well, I like to do it just because I like wearing a lot of makeup, so that's just me. I've put that where he's suggested. I'm just going to pat this in. I definitely think that that's given me a lot of lift on the outer corner, and it's definitely slimmed the bridge of my nose down a little bit um it's probably hard to tell from this side because obviously not much light coming from this side um but i definitely think that has i definitely think it just completely like lifts the eye obviously this is a trick that i always do but if you don't do this or you've never tried this and you feel like your your eyes don't look as awake definitely give this a try because i just think it's a really good hack i honestly believe you cannot stop creasing if you have got lines under your eyes it's impossible like i genuinely don't think there's anything you can do to stop creasing i really really don't so moving on if there's a specific double chin contouring hack that i want to try my chin is like my most conscious area it's the one thing that bothers me a lot okay so i've just put my cheek contour on i'll try this double chin technique hey, yeah. and that is like really technical i've got a feeling i'm probably not gonna I'm gonna fuck this up a bit but we'll see start off by doing like a line there then a triangle a slightly lighter line there not if you barely see what i'm doing <gasps> okay i think this is gonna work i just think this is gonna look really weird then she gets like a load of translucent powder brush because i feel like the brush she's used is really big so she does like a big line like right here my hair needs a bit more powder than that though she highlights right there as well like, this to me just looks like normal like normal contouring to be honest also i hate putting powder here because i just feel like it makes my jaw look massive that looks like I've got a slimmer jaw. I actually do think that looks better. Does anyone else think that actually looks like it worked a little bit? I feel like these bits are just hard to get rid of anyway. He's doing in the video. But I actually think this, like drawing that like little conk in it there. And like maybe adding a bit of powder does help. Please like let me know what you think of that. Like do you think that's worked or not? Because I actually do think that's like 
kind of worked a bit. What do we think? Please leave a comment and let me know. Next hack I want to try is a nose contour hack. Basically what she does is she gets a load of bronzer and she like completely like, br like bronzes her nose up. I'm just going to use this because it's had powder on it so it should be fine to use. Bronze my nose up load like she did. Really? Okay. Oh my god, that looks hilarious. And then she gets her concealer and she does like a line of concealer. I'm just going to use my this flat brush again just because um, it's not got much product left on it from the bronzer. So this should work, hopefully. And I'm just going to draw like a thin line down the side of the bridge of my nose. And then she does like a really tiny blob there. thing is like i already know that this doesn't work for my nose shade she just like keeps the product like exactly where it is so i'm just gonna like really gently like pack that in with my with my beauty blender this is not going well at all or is it just me <laughs> seriously this does not work the thing is as well like she's got like the perfect shape nose for this but i literally do not have the perfect shape nose for this at all well i suppose it has given me a bit of lift but i feel like i need to go back in with the bronzer and like just blend that a bit out of it which i think she does do anyway but then like i've got a line there and it's like yeah and it's like kind of making my nose look really dry i don't think that's worked has it let's be honest I see, totally see where like she's coming from but like because I've got such like a completely different nose shape to her, it just doesn't work for me. This is a finger and goes directly in the same place. Which let's face it, I think we all have done this at some point. And then a bit on the tip. What do we think? I'm not sure. I feel like it's kind of made like this bit of my nose look big because my nose isn't the same shape as hers. I don't hate it, I don't think it looks terrible. With my bronzer i tend to like do it right underneath and then sometimes there but i actually think that doesn't look too bad so i mean i've not blended it great but you know nose contour hack are we sure are we not sure who knows okay so i'm gonna move on to a lip hack i'm gonna give it a go so <laughs> so that seems a little bit like on the pointless side to me the way she goes around it with like a lipstick why not just use a lip liner so she uses like a like kind of like really light nude lipstick to go around she doesn't just use a lip liner but i'm gonna use mac velvet teddy because that's like kind of a nude color isn't it i'm gonna start this way i'm not sure how this is going And then she goes in with a dark eyeshadow, like a dark brown eyeshadow. So I don't want to use something too dark. So I'm just going to use this saucy shade out of this Tarte Man Eater palette. Kind of the closest thing to what she's using. It's not too warm either. And it's going to look a bit weird, but let's give it a go. And then she uses a really light liquid lipstick. We, this is just a Too Faced one. So I've literally done exactly what she's done. Mine doesn't look anything like hers, I'll be honest. I've done exactly what she's done. What do you think, guys? Do you think it looks good? I just feel like it doesn't like blend properly. Like I prefer to use a lip liner because it just blends in better. But really struggle with lip liner undertones like trying to get the right undertone for my skin tone and like obviously using ran on is a good is a good hack really i actually don't think it looks that bad it's a little bit messy my lips definitely look bigger so yeah it's very time consuming i don't know why you wouldn't just use a lip liner instead so my last hack is going to be a lash hack so, save us 70 pound on russian infills a month I've tried this before and I wasn't the biggest fan of it, but I'm going to give it another go purely for the sake of this video. I use these um, GWA lashes from Girls With Attitude. They're just like a little flary pair. And she cuts them into like three chunks and then sticks them on the underneath of her lashes instead of on top, which scares the crap out of me. I'm not going to lie, but I'm going to give it a go.
So I've got my scissors, I've got my lashes, and I've got my glue and my tweezers. So I'm not sure how this is going to work. I feel like this is going to make me like cringe out really bad. I've cut my lashes into three. You meant to glue the top side of them, so I'm just going to do it like bit by bit because I feel like this is going to be like quite difficult to do. I feel like it's going to be really fiddly. Oh my god, I'm like literally like. I feel like that is literally not stuck at all. Ah! Oh my god, it's like literally like not sticking. How the hell did they get it to stick down? Okay, so that's the first bit in. We're going on the wrong side. Next bit, let's go. interesting right that's the first two bits on i've just got this little bit left at the end oh look at that okay that actually looks amazing just looking from the front on you would genuinely think that i had like lash extensions on wouldn't you god i'm literally obsessed that actually looks amazing wow no i'm literally obsessed like that was really fiddly but that actually looks like genuinely looks like lash extensions Right, I'm going to just jump off camera and do the other lash because that just look, took way too long. I won't lie, that is literally not the easiest thing to do and I do think they look like completely different lashes. Like this side looks really choppy and this side looks quite fluffy and I'm literally scared to touch it because I just feel like it is going to come off at any point. Um, But I do genuinely think that that's actually quite a good hack. I really, really like fiddly. But I think you need two hands to do it. You need to hold your eye up with one hand and then stick it on with the other. But I genuinely think that that looks really good. So that's the end. That's the last hack that I've got. Otherwise, this video is going to be like hours long. But um, let me just take my clips out so you can get the full effect. Let me have a look. But my skin actually looks quite nice. I do think it looks quite flawless. And I actually quite liked the jawline contour, but I will say that was very time consuming. Um, so overall, I wouldn't actually say that any of these are like hacks. Because in my eyes, hacks are like things that are like quick or things that are like save you time. That's not going to take more time on a regular basis and you've got really quick at them. Like they'd be fine. But the only thing out of all of this that I think I'd probably do again is maybe the skin hack. Because I actually do think my skin looks quite nice. And the lash hack. I do genuinely think these look really good. Um, I think with a full face of makeup on as well. Like full eyeshadow. And like a bit of eyeliner and stuff. I do think these would, this this hack would look really good. Like I do genuinely really like it. The lipstick hack is literally like completely pointless. You might as well use a lip liner. Obviously if you don't have a lip liner that's like a good colour for you. Then a brown eyeshadow is a really good idea. But you found this video fun. I mean there was some like awkward moments in it where I was a bit like oh this looks shit or this looks crap but it's just a bit of fun isn't it and um obviously some of these hacks aren't complete and utter crap so yeah i really like this eyelash, eyelash trick i'm definitely gonna try it again the lipstick i just think looks way too like there's just a really obvious line um which i personally don't like obviously the concealer trick is like my favorite trick anyway i always do that highly recommend if you've not tried it that's the end of the video if you've got any questions about any of the products that i've used leave a comment and i'll let you know um what they are if anybody's interested i hope you enjoy this video guys it's just a bit of fun let me know if you like hack videos because i've actually got a lot of hacks myself that i use on a daily basis that aren't from tiktok something you are interested in give the video a thumbs up leave a comment subscribe all that jazz any extra info i'll link in the description box and yeah i'll see you on wednesday with another video bye guys mm -hmm.